Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will be talking to you about the IBFlex PCTEL scanner, teaching you how to uh, configure it and pair it up with a device and showing you what equipment and devices you need for your indoor sidewalks or your uh, drive testing outdoor. So let's get to it. All right, these are the equipment and devices we need for our um, drive test and sidewalks. We we'll start on the left. We have the GPS antenna. It comes with a magnet at the bottom of it. Remember that you only need GPS antenna if you're doing any outdoor testing. Uh, it should have an SMB port. However, mine came with an SMA mini SMA port, so I had to get an adapter for mini SMA to SMB. Next, we have the PC term scanner. It comes with two RF ports. Uh, you only need one. Uh, then we have the COM port. This is used to connect the USB to the computer to do any software updates for the PC tel. Then you have the Wi-Fi port or Bluetooth. It works on both of them. Then you have the mini, uh, mini SMB port for the GPS. You have the USB, the LAN port, the power. And this is the second uh, uh, RF port. It's better to be kept covered so that it doesn't collect dust and Important thing, this is a very important little dude we have over here. This little dude is used for the Bluetooth antenna. It's important that it, it is plugged on the PC tel. I'll show you later, for secure and for uh, continuity and the connectivity between the PC tel and your uh, tablet or, or smartphone. Next, we have the OP451 external antenna highly recommended by PCTEL uh, ranges from 600 megahertz to 6 gigahertz it comes with the SMA port here then we have the internal OP691 indoor antenna is also 6 megahertz to 6 gigahertz and finally we come to the smart uh, device or tablet and then uh, you should have a processing software Basically, PCTEL has Seahawk Touch, but also Windcatcher would work the same way. All right, now I got everything hooked up. Uh, again, you don't need the GPS antenna for indoor, but for the demonstration purposes, I just hooked it up. This is the Bluetooth, this is the indoor uh, omnidirectional antenna from 600 megahertz to 6 gigahertz. Next, we turn on the scanner. It takes few seconds, few seconds to uh, initialize, and once the lights uh, turn green on the system, all right, it's blinking almost green. By the way, make sure the antenna is vertically aligned for better collection of results. Now, since I'm laying down the scanner, it's, it's fine. I'm just doing this for the video. Now it's blinking green, we come to the tablet or the smart device. We look into the device list, detect devices. What I'm actually doing now is pairing my scanner with the smart device. The reason we do that because the scanner scans all the frequencies and, and it, send, it has to send them somewhere for processing. Now I'm connecting, you should click on pair. All right, once uh, we log into the software, first you need to choose your technology. I'm gonna assume LTE since that this is the most common. We look at the band, you have all the LTE bands in the US, uh, Japan, everywhere should be already licensed and given to you. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm gonna choose the band 13, US upper 700C block and uh, I need to pick up my measurements. Most probably you're interested in RSRP, RSRQ, CYANR, and uh, RSSI. So if you don't know the bandwidth of your channels, you wanna scan all of them, you choose the top end, enhanced top end signal auto bandwidth. If you know the bandwidth to be three megahertz or five megahertz, you pick up that one. But most of the time you're gonna pick it, be picking up the auto bandwidth. Next, we need to choose our channels. I know the upper uh, 700 have the 751 megahertz, which is 5230, 5230. 
you can select all the channels or as many as you'd like and then click add then okay channels should show up here these are pre-selected for you uh, you don't need to change them uh, number of PCIs the PC tell can scan 16 simultaneous PCIs and this is nothing to change we're only connecting one port to the receiver the number of TX antennas uh, undetermined I don't know the ENOB how many antennas so let's leave it at all intact you can uh, modify the antenna gain and cable losses uh, the reporting mode we can leave it at normal or we have time sampling for the normal reporting it's uh, the sampling rate if the signal is pretty good is every 20 milliseconds and we have if you'd like to specify that we can click on time sampling and specify in, in multiple of 100 milliseconds it's pretty useful if you don't want large files of data uh, next thing everything here you need to leave as is you don't need to worry about uh, Click next. Uh, a pop-up window will show up. This is uh, will tell you that this is what I'm collecting. Uh, what would you like to see on the screen during the drive test or the walk? I would like to see RSRP. Label it as RSRP. Apply. Because I chose indoor up there. Indoor. I need to load an image file of the floor or the building I'm going to be walking in. So every time you go to a different floor, you need a different floor image. The file should be on your laptop through USB cable. You should be able to import to the tablet and load it. Uh, we can also choose outdoor. In case of outdoor, uh, same thing here, choose RSRP. And this image shows up. Of course, once you're connected to Wi-Fi, uh, street maps will show up here, uh, similar to Google Maps, which helps you in drive testing. Uh, and that's all you need. So let's click the play button. You can see it here, I'm connected to Wi-Fi. You can see at 5230, I'm detecting all these cell IDs. Uh, they're changing. Of course, the one with an asterisk is the one that's uh, the, mo the strongest signal. Uh, and also the scanner can see all other IDs. Here's the RSSI, RSRP, RSRQ, uh, signal to noise ratio. Also, you can click this. If I had multiple channels, they will all show up here in this table. That's it, we collected a point here. Uh, this is just uh, clicking the play button just doing measurements nothing is being recorded yet to record you click the record button and then to stop you can click the stop button important also while you're driving or walking if you're gonna take a break you can always use the, the, the pause button and then once you're ready you click resume and then once you're done you click stop you save the name of the file rename it or you can keep the same format here After we have saved the file on the tablet, well now we need to move it into your computer or Windows. You need to download a software called Seahawk Auto Export. That's if you're using the Seahawk Touch software. Uh, you double click on it and it should be running right now. It's over here. Uh, so the next step is to bring the files from the tablet. You connect uh, the tablet to the USB port of your computer. You're going to have this show up. You need to click allow. Now you can see the tablet shows up on here. You open it. You go down Seahawk Touch where we collected our data. Drives. And this is the file we just collected. All we have to do is go back to documents seahawk uh, auto export it's very easy you just put it this file in the source and the tool by itself by itself should process it and put it in the destination and you can see here some processing taking place it's completed we go to the destination folder 
and it should be here you open it should have csv files i only selected three channels so these are my channels you have csv and you have dtr some some people may know what dtr is you can also export that similar to csv all right so that sums it up uh, to go over the steps again the first step is you connect all your devices to the scanner make sure everything is connected properly then you turn on the scanner and wait for the green light green light to show up then you pair the scanner with your smartphone or tablet and you log into the software and choose your technology choose your band choose uh, your uh, your channels and measurements measurement type and then proceed after that with whatever i showed you and you should be good to go please feel free to ask me any questions and thank you so much for watching my channel uh, i hope that was useful